what's really great about the way that we develop golf clubs is that we take every product that we make, all the new technologies, into learnings for the next one. What goes hand in hand with solving problems is sometimes you create new ones. When we started to work with face slots and the 360 undercut is when we started to realize that we were going to have a problem at some stage in terms of having the structure that was stiff enough to support good ball speed all over the face. What happens when you thin out the top line, the face. We inherently create a lot of flexibility in the golf club. The top of the club is starting to lose rigidity. That was a problem. The flexibility can create bad sound. There's energy losses. There's problems where a slight miss hit will cause balls to travel too far offline or lose too much distance. We saw that there was a lack of stress on just the sides of the face lot. This uh, gave us the idea to start trying to add ribs of different size and shape and location. Different kind of bar layouts with thickness pads, things like that. We're trying to find ways to increase and reinforce that top line. On the M3 and the M4 iron, we have two strategically placed ribs on the back side of the golf club. Essentially isolating what's happening on the extreme heel and toe with what's happening essentially in the score line area of the golf club. Stabilizing parts of the golf club that aren't relevant really to producing proper golf shots. We're able to put mass out there and vastly increase our MOI of our head, create a more stable iron which gives you a straighter ball flight. We decided to name the technology rib core because it's a combination of two different things. While the ribs on the back of the club, so rib was fairly intuitive. The core part is from a COR. Coefficient of restitution, basically how fast the face is. It's not COR in the center face, it's COR all over the face. If we would put the rib core on the face without face slots, we would have drastically decreased the size of our overall face unsupported area we're able to essentially preserve all those great launch conditions in the middle of the face, high CUR, high ball speeds, but now on a miss hit anywhere in the face, you're gonna get more energy into the ball. Ultimately, the golfer's gonna see shots that aren't struck perfectly, finishing a lot closer to the intended target line. 